One of the solutions that I um, that I've been um, one of the solutions I've been considering uh, uh, the most is uh, in technology itself, like using innovation and like startups and uh, uh, for in order to find solutions. Uh, because I believe, like for, I make an example, like um, uh, for uh, websites of tourism or bank, uh, they since uh, e-commerce was uh, uh, involved, so the market itself was involved. Um, there are, for example, uh, identity recognition or identity verification uh, that are very effective. This is not the same for other kind of uh, websites. Uh, this is not used for other websites that are anyway forbidden in uh, some countries. Um, so uh, I guess technology itself has the solution. Uh, and I think that uh, uh, too often the debate has focused on uh, um, media education uh, or like self-regulation uh, uh, without considering uh, the, the capacity of technology itself to put boundaries to the use of technology. Uh, so I believe that uh, if these big companies uh, uh, don't want to or are not uh, doing enough for the, in that sense, maybe uh, I hope that in the uh, in in, uh, in in startups there might be some uh, new technologies that are uh, maybe also with the cooperation with these companies uh, uh, thinking of uh, technological solutions. Another example is the Creative Commons license. So there was the issue of how to protect uh, intellectual rights online, and there was this license that was uh, invented uh, to protect uh, uh, to protect uh, um, uh, intellectual property rights. And in that case, the idea was called this law. So like, not look for the solution in regulation, but in the code itself. So I guess uh, technology might limit the uh, diffusion of harmful content.